Yeah, this question is for Mercy. I, I know I know you ran this course. You won it uh, a few years ago. Uh, what do you remember about about that course, and and, and how can you use that knowledge to uh, to uh, maybe repeat this year? Um, I just remember that because without Thank you. Dave Hunter, Track and Field News. Caitlin, your team has had an amazing run this fall. They've been ranked number one uh, in the weekly polls. Uh, they've won all their races, and you as an individual also are undefeated, so obviously, obviously that's got to be strengthening the confidence for you and for your team. But my, my question is, is that accompanied at all by any uh, uh, stress, any pressure, and, and how do you how do, do you and your team deal with that? Um, yeah, I think we're all feeling a little bit of pressure um, because of the rankings and just winning last year, but I think we all kind of go in with the mindset that the pressure is privilege. So, um, you know, we're grateful to be here and we're gonna make the most of this opportunity when we're here um, against the best runners in the country tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, hi, Jonathan Gold here from Let's Run.com. Question for Parker. Uh, you've had a lot of success, run some really fast times this year, but the course on Saturday is going to be a bit hillier than the ones you've had success on so far. I'm wondering how do you feel like you handle hills? Will that be advantage, disadvantage for you? Um, I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. <laughs> do, you consider yourself, do you consider yourself a good hill runner? I mean, I haven't, I honestly haven't run a lot of courses with hills, but. Hey, I'll ask this to each of you guys. Uh, we can start over there on that side with Mercy. Is there a part of this course that's more challenging um, than the rest of it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, it's, it, yeah, it's more hilly than most of the courses, but I think that's, that's fine with me. So it's just, it's, it's a fun course, I guess. Caitlin, do you feel the same way? Is there an aspect of this course that's more challenging than other parts of it? Um, yeah, obviously the hills are going to be tough tomorrow, but um, I think we're all, you know, we're all running the same course, same conditions. So um, honestly, I think it kind of just comes down to how the race plays out. Um, it could either be, you know, a quick finish or a long grind, so it really depends on the day. Parker, how about you? I mean, today was my first time seeing the course. Um, I think for every uphill, there's a downhill, so pretty evens out. Sure. Thanks, guys. questions. Uh, Caitlin, how is your hamstring feeling? I think you might have tweaked it a little bit at regionals. I'm just curious how you're feeling today. Oh uh, yeah, it's feeling really good. I was able to practice all week. Um, it wasn't, I didn't really injure it at regionals. Just kind of, yeah, like you said, I just tweaked it a little bit, but um, I think it's 100% and I'm ready to go tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask all three of you to answer this question about the weather conditions here. Your your schools are located in places that maybe aren't used to having this kind of weather this early in, in as we enter in the winter season. So, how how do you deal with that? Let's start maybe with Mercy. Um, I feel like for the for the weather we we like to kind of change it. So it is what it is. So you just have to deal with it. Caitlin. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow we're all just going to have to be um, pretty careful with how we warm up, make sure we warm up properly because um, it is going to be pretty cold and windy. But um, yeah, I've run in conditions like this before, so I'm not really worried about it. Parker, you're from Florida, so <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Hey, uh, contrary to popular belief, it does get cold in Florida sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> gets when we left, it was like 45 degrees, but um, again, I'm with them. We're all running in the same conditions, yeah. so... Thank you. Uh, 
a uh, question for Parker and Caitlin. This year's NCAA championships, I think, probably has more attention on it in the women's individual race than any I can recall in recent memory. A lot of it's based on your performances. You're both undefeated this fall. I'm wondering, how do you deal with expectations, pressure, all the attention that comes with this meet? Uh, I'll start off first. Yeah, I think there is uh, a lot of attention, especially on our names. But I'm being honest, I think there's a lot of competitive women in the field tomorrow that should be counted out. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a dogfight, but I'm excited for it. I think you know that's what makes the sport kind of thrilling is when there's a lot of competition on the individual side. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's kind of it's every meet up, we're getting more excited. So, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm just taking it as a, another race, fighting for it, fighting to see what happens. More questions in the room. And a, a question for Caitlin. I'm just wondering, do you feel like you've had to go to the well yet in a cross country race? It feels like it seems like you've been pretty controlled in a lot of your races. So how hard have you had to push to win those races? Um. Yeah, I I feel like I haven't you know gone have like redlined or anything yet this season. Um, yeah, we run kind of every race the same, like packing up in the beginning and just you know once you get to the four or five k. practicing for tomorrow I guess because you know you gotta I feel like once we hit you know four or five K the pace is gonna pick up a lot on the hill so yeah I think tomorrow might be the the hardest I push myself this season but you know that's how it's supposed to be. There are no more questions in the room we'll get uh, one more. Caitlin you're the reigning um NCAA champion at 5,000 out, outdoors. So tell us how you make that transition from the track with your good leg speed over 5K to running this race tomorrow, or is there not much of a difference in, in the way you approach this? Um, yeah, I don't know if there's much more of a difference. I think the biggest difference is just, um, you know, the, the team aspect of it. Um, you know, we're fighting it for a team title tomorrow, so. I guess just working, you know, with my teammates in the beginning of the race and finding each other and um, kind of having them in the back of my mind. Thank you. Any more questions in the room before we go to Zoom? No. Gavin. All right. Our first question from Zoom is going to come from Ricky Quintana. All right. Thank you. Uh, this question is for Parker Balby. seriously I was running 20 30 miles a week so just upping my mileage has helped tremendously with fitness and then adding cross training into that um, has helped a lot I've been training on, we have a we have a golf course and Gainesville actually is pretty hilly. There are a lot of hills in Gainesville, so I've been just, I've been preparing for it. Okay, here we've got our piece of stoplight. So, um, you guys literally driving down the street. Uh, I think we're down on the women's side. We have the men going here at 215. Thanks everyone.